Good morning. Good morning. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. You all may know uh, this is an old story, but uh, that I've been trying to get to. So I'm going to get to it. It was back in July. It's not too old, but it's back in July where Derek Rose, you know, he's a, a NBA a basketball player. And so he was set to lose twenty one million dollars of, of because of allegations uh, you know, of R by his ex-girlfriend. And so he was sued along with two of his friends, um, uh, for allegedly drugging and R and her. Now he actually fought tooth and nail to make it back onto the rotation of the NBA rosters and his coming out party after going through a litany of injuries, because, you know, he had, uh, been, you know, going through a lot of injuries at that time. And uh, he also scored 50 points for the Timberwolves in 2018. And while this was quite an achievement, you know, for him, uh, for the th then 30-year-old, it unfortunately took attention away from a much more serious matter involving him. Because think about it. You, you know, you're celebrating that you've scored 50 points. You're, you know, you got over your injuries. You know, you made it back on the NBA rosters. And then now somebody brings these allegations against you. Uh, you know, and, and that can take away from, you know, your accomplishments, you know, it can uh, push your accomplishments to the side when there is allegations like this that come out that you've drugged someone, that you've art someone. And, you know, people run with stories like this because a lot of times people are drawn to drama. People are drawn to negativity. And so your your accomplishments on everything that you've done can get pushed aside, all the helping you've done for folks all of the accomplishments, your achievements, you're working hard, you're working hard to get back to the game, you know, and also to, you know, do it for yourself and for your fans. And if you have a family to do it for your family, to get back to that goal, you know, because that was a dream that you've had and to get back to, you know, um, meet your goals and, and, you know, and things like that. And so this can take away from it because again, a lot of people are drawn to negativity, you know, when it comes down to stories. And a lot of times people don't wait until the, uh, till the investigation happens. They just automatically, as soon as a woman say something, they're on it. Yeah, he did this. Yeah, he did that. And sometimes, uh, and we've seen not just sometimes, we've seen a lot of times where, uh, that wasn't even the case. And so, um, that's why I like to wait to see what's going to happen. And even if I do a story, I always say that I want to see what happens pretty much. You know, I try to say that because we don't know, uh, until, you know, the evidence and investigations and things like that come out. And I'll still tell you that's what my opinion from there, or it might be the same. It may change and it may not. And, and we've seen so much that we really should have learned a lot uh, from other cases that we've seen, uh, these very high profile cases that we've seen a lot of folks on social media saying one thing and then lying on the stand. We've seen that. And we've seen where men were, uh, exonerated. Look at all these men that's being exonerated from, uh, sexual assault and, and, and our allegations. Look at the men that are coming out of prison where their sentences are vacated or exonerated. And look at where we are seeing people on the stand that have told different stories than what they said happened to them. And they found, and we found out they were getting paid. They were getting money. They were taken care of very well and getting all type of things, uh, you know, uh, benefits. And so, uh, and then because we're still in this Me Too era, era, this is what, you know, people do. They automatically believe that these things is going on. We can go back and we can name them one, one by one. We got, you know, what about Chris Brown, you know, and now you got Snoop Dogg, them going through something, uh, you know, and Don Juan and, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, um, gosh, there's so many. Primo and uh, Watson and uh, wow, what's the other guy's name? He's a singer and I can't even think of his name right now. Where the lady came out and spoke and said they tried to bribe her, you know, in making up a story on that one singer. So we got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of these stories that come out, you know, and it's really sad, but we don't see a lot of them going to the authorities. We don't see that. We see lawsuits. Oh, and with uh, Puig, you see oh, Puig, what a, you know, him, uh, you know, being accused. And he said he settled because he wasn't 
able to get a court case for a trial until you know may or farther along so he went on and settled and so he's not even in the M mlb right now he's playing somewhere else you know and he's a major league baseball player so we see this a lot and so i think it's important that we learn how to you know look into it or wait don't automatically uh, believe all women because we can't just like we can't believe all men but we can't believe all women we got to be fair and the scale shouldn't be so tilted against a man because someone comes out as a female and just says something and so here we are uh back to this nba fans can't help but feel joy when seeing derrick rose succeed given the circumstance of his injury riddled career because he's had a lot of injuries however off the court the sympathy should be withheld as the adidas athlete was accused of gang aren't an ex-girlfriend of who he dated from 2011 to 13 on august 26 2013 and uh and so uh the accuser who remained anonymous throughout it all filed a lawsuit against rose and two of rose's childhood friends who she requested a total of 21.5 million six million in compensatory damages and 15.5 in punitive damages for drugging her at derrick's beverly hills rental and coming back several hours later and forcefully taking turns having sex with her um, this is what she was saying. And then um, the three men accused was Derek Rose, Ryan Allen, and Randall Hampton claimed that what took place that night was all consensual, despite Jane Doe insisting she was blacked out drunk. Now, Rose's defense rested on Doe texting him about wanting to have another actual uh, encounter with him along with a female companion. See, and a lot of times there are some setups. Because if you think about what I just read now, I, you know, I'm just going to say, if you are texting and there's proof that you're texting, that you want to do it again, that you had a great time, you know, that you were in, in heaven with all of this. And I'm not saying that's what was said in the Texas, but what I am saying is you wanted it to happen again in a text message, but you came out and said, this man did those things to you. That's, that's suspect. And that's what the, even with the Chris Brown thing, Chris Brown, the female said that she loved and it was the best, you know, uh, you know, the best, what's the word they use, Dino? It was the best that she had. And, but then she came back, got an attorney, didn't go to the police and said that the, Chris Brown did some things. And, and what her attorney that bragged about her Christian Louboutin, <laughs> the red bottoms, uh, you know, she had to drop it, you know, because that didn't look good for her reputation to be trying to represent someone that's coming back. Uh, wanting to be a part of, a, you know, of this man again. And, and if you think about this, you know, there should be, these text messages should be allowed. Just like I was sharing when I did the Harvey Weinstein with uh, the Governor Wilson's wife, Jennifer. She's up here, they're saying that those, uh, the email can't be, uh, can't be disclosed as far as what it, the email, what's in the email that she sent Harvey Weinstein. After she alleged the same thing happened to her, but yet still, you know, being art, uh, but she reached out to him, what, a couple of years later, after she accused him of that, reaching out, asking about how to deal with the uh, bad press, but yet still, this man did that to you. And so the, in that case, in Los Angeles, they don't want, um, the judge said no, that the details of the uh, email can't be disclosed, but you can bring it up and introduce that she did that. So, you know, we got to be able to, that when it comes down to district attorneys, you need to make sure all that evidence is out there because no one were, should be accused falsely and, um, you know, lose their livelihood because uh, the, pro, the district attorney's office withheld evidence. So all of the evidence needs to be presented in the court of law, whether it's presented publicly are uh, openly, you know, public meaning openly or non openly, because some things are presented, I believe, with the closed court and, you know, so the jury can see it or whatnot to get the facts out there. But it should be presented. No one should be able to get away with making up a false story or uh, false allegations or presenting half the information to, uh, you know, punish someone or to convict someone. And so in this case, 
This is what they're saying, and I'm going to go back to it. And before we move on, it says Rose defense rested on Doe texting him about wanting to have another extra encounter with him along with a female companion. So she wanted to do her and another female with him, according to these text messages. And they don't realize that text messages can be pulled. And it is important that men save evidence. Do not get rid of it. Do not destroy it. And if you value yourself, then you will fight hard for you. Sometimes when people are trying to bring you down, men, and I'm speaking to men right now, when people are trying to bring you down, you got to remain and contain and keep evidence so that you can protect you. Because if someone's trying to destroy you or your livelihood, you got to value you over them. And I say the same thing with women. If you are in a situation where you are being violated, and I'm not and I'm not biased, I go both ways when it comes down to protecting who you are. That's what I mean by that. Not no both ways and no this you know, in that other stuff. No, I don't participate like that. Let's be clear. But I'm talking about I when it comes down both ways defending so if you in the situation as a woman you got to value you over the perpetrator and if you in a situation with a man you and a woman is coming at you or lying on you you got to value yourself over the the liar over the one that's falsely accusing you that's all i'm saying and i'm not here to victim shame anyone because if you are a victim you ought to call the national hotline you should be able to do that you should be able to file a police report whoever you are man or woman if you are a victim but like i said let's very very clear when i said both ways i'm talking about standing up for justice if you are a real victim as a man or if you are a real victim as a woman you have got to value you and you have got to stand up for you and fight just as hard to to protect yourself your livelihood your uh character you know your um your character who you are because people will come at you and when you are a public figure people are looking for the bag they're looking for money they're looking to get out of their financial struggles and circumstances and so you have got to protect you and i stand on that so as we keep moving on to this it says rose obliged and brought his friends to a party where they will go to his estate after so he obliged that he was he was all for it so the nature of the text she sent derrick rose was used as evidence to tip the scales in his favor lack of evidence was what eventually got the former mvp mvp most valuable player off the hook and away from having to give 21 million to the accuser see this is what we're talking about keep evidence men and i'm speaking to you men keep the evidence go hard on protecting yourself because if you have to understand you need to understand that if somebody is going to try to destroy your reputation your career and try to get the bag from you that's a lot of money and yes, your reputation on the line, your career is on the line, your livelihood, you know, you have got to go hard in protecting you. Do not sit back and say, well, I don't want to see another, you know, uh, woman, she a woman, you know, I, I'm soft on that. Protect you. You know what? Because if a woman's going to go hard on you, you got to go hard back and you don't beat on them. You don't hit them or nothing, but you go hard back on the right way, the righteous way. And that's what I'm talking about. And if it was a woman uh that was in a situation go hard go hard on the perpetrator protect you value you at every cost every cost and this is not promoting hate or violence i am saying stand up righteously youtube because i know you're listening stand up righteously for the other folks is listening to stand up righteously and go hard to protect you and that's all i'm saying so derek would even say that the encounter was so consensual that the accuser would go grab a coffee and go to work the very next day and according to her however she did this because it was her job and would break down while at work even getting on the phone with alan with the witness on her end of the phone alan would claim he didn't know she was intoxicated The trial was dragged out for quite some time, but after Rose won, he would take a picture with the jurors and all smiles, a picture that received quite a bit of backlash as many believe it was clear as day that he was guilty. Well, you know what? I don't think he was guilty. If there was evidence to prove that he was not guilty, then he was not guilty. And there was evidence to prove that she wanted that. It was evidence to prove that she was all for it because she asked for it and he obliged. Now, when you ask for something, be very careful about what you ask for. 
because you might just get it. And you know, we talk about that. Be careful what you ask for because you might get it. Even if you're praying about something and you're asking God to expand your territory, you have got to be prepared for what you're asking for. But most of the time, God will prepare you and make preparations for you when he's going to bless you with something that he believes is in line with his word for the desires and the purpose of your life. But again, you know, though that evidence is what got him off. And that's why I'm saying you have got to have evidence that is going to get you off and so with that being said uh you know thank you for tuning in please like give a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel please leave your respectful comments below what do you think about this copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting scholarship and research and then uh also um fair use is a use um, permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational personal use tips the balance in favor of the scale and then um, you know you know like I said uh, you know help is available for real victims help is available the national sexual assault hotline 1-800-656-467 three okay that's available for real victims um but like i said we have got to be very careful about putting ourselves in situations and i'm not blaming anybody you know when it comes down to it if you are a real one and somebody you know it happens to you but please follow through do the right thing take the steps to get the help you need and to make sure that it doesn't happen to someone else pay it forward so god bless you all on today peace out